Hey guys, it's Chelsea. Uh, I thought today we could make some fortune tellers. Uh, I've made these at the club before with some of you. Um, so some of you might have a little leg up here. And if you've forgotten or you've never made them, this is going to be super easy and super fun. So um, materials. I just need one blank piece of paper. Uh, it can be lined if that's all you have. If you have like paper from a notebook, that's totally fine. Um, Maybe some scissors. I will show you how to make this without scissors. Super easy. And pencil. Pencil is also optional for this first constructing phase, but it might make it easier too. So let's get going. So the first thing is we have a rectangle piece of paper and we need this to be a square piece of paper. So um, it's very simple to do. What you're going to do is take one of the corners of the edge and you're just going to fold this down so that that corner touches the long edge of the paper with this corner being totally folded in half. And then, so you're going to press that seam down like that. All right. See? Perfectly folded down. So you're going to want to make sure to press these seams very firmly so you get a nice clean and crisp line and then it should look like this. So you get a triangle shape with the fold in it and now we have this part that we need to get rid of. So take your pencil, this will make it so much easier. What you're going to do is you're going to trace along this line on this page. Okay, so that is your fold or cut line, like that. So I like to fold. If you have scissors, this is where you would use them the one and only time. So you're just gonna cut right along that line right there that you just made so you have a perfect, perfectly straight edge. But what I like to do is, because a lot of times I just don't have any scissors around, is I'm going to fold on that line, see, that, and I'm going to fold it the other way, and then I'm going to a little bit of water here and get just the tips of my fingers wet, just a tiny little drip, not too much because this is paper and it'll disintegrate. And you're going to put that water right there on that fold, and then you're going to fold it over again, get tiny, just the tiniest bit more, and you're going to get the other side a little damp. Okay. And then, you know, make sure that's clean water. Um, make sure your hands aren't too wet for this. You should only be using a tiny bit of water anyway, so it should be just fine. So press that fold edge nice and firm. Okay, then we just separate. And it's really easy. You just need to put a little bit of tension on the paper. So I like to hold this one, the little one, firmly flat, as close up to that line as I can. And then I grab this part and you're just kind of pulling it apart really slowly because you don't want to rip anything that you don't want ripped. Aha, uh -huh. right? Okay, so this part is now scrap, and you can save that. You can use this for, like, a bookmark or something, because, you know, you don't want to be wasteful. Um, or you can draw on it. You can, um, you can make even tinier little fortune tellers, which is what I usually do with them. Um, but this is the part that we're working with for right now. So if you open it, you now have a perfect square. This is exactly the shape that we want. So you'll notice that we've got a fold running down right the middle of it, and that's perfect. So what you're going to do is, if you hold it like this, and then you turn it like this so that the fold is straight up and down, you're now going to fold this part together. So it's the opposite corners that you folded before. And you want to get those corners right up on each other. So now you've got another perfect triangle 
and you have this X sort of fold in the middle. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna take my pencil again because this X fold is gonna be really important. So I'm just gonna lightly trace my fold line because um, it it's gonna make it easier for you to see, but it's also gonna make it easier for me to make this. So now we've got this nice X right in the center. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these corners, all four of them, and we're gonna fold them right into the center. Actually, I'm gonna make this center, I'm gonna put a big dot in there. Dot, X marks the spot. Okay, so now that you have these traced, you're gonna take this corner and you're gonna fold it right up to that dot in the center. Don't go over the dot, but right up to it. And then you're gonna fold that, press that smooth. You do the next one. All right, so I'll show you that before. So now it looks like that, right? It's right up to the dot without going over. Okay, so let's do all of the corners. So we're gonna do the exact same thing and we're going to try and get them to meet up as nicely as possible, but you can see that sometimes there's like a little gap there. Totally fine. You want to do this as neatly as possible, but, you know, sometimes things don't line up exactly, exactly. Um, and that's totally okay. The one thing you want to try and avoid doing is you don't want to fold these over each other because then that's going to cause you problems on the next part of the fold. So you want them right side by side, but not overlapping. Okay. So now we've got, that's my fourth fold. So it should look like this now, right? So you can see our dot in the center and we've got all these little triangles now. So if you put it down like that, right? All of these triangles are gonna poke up. So what we're gonna do Let's fold it over. So now on this side, you can see that we've still got all these folds. We've got squares. So I'm just gonna take this pencil and I'm gonna mark these lines once again, just cause it makes it so much easier to fold to. So you can see, well, X marks the spot. And then I'm gonna make that spot. Okay. X marks the dot. And we're just gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna take these corners, we're gonna fold them into the center. So you should notice that all of these lines that we just drew in kind of create this perfect guideline for where to fold. So see how you can still see the line because my fold didn't go over the line? It's right inside it. That's that's how you wanna. That's what you wanna shoot for. Um, I have this paper that I'm working with that is so thick. It's way thicker than notebook paper. So now that this is a couple of folds in, it's a little more difficult to fold it because now I'm folding like eight layers of paper or something silly. Okay, so. Same guidelines on folding these in, right? You don't want them to overlap each other. And, you know, you can see that there's still like a gap in there and that's totally fine. That's not even a perfect point. Totally fine. Um, and you can see our little uh, X marks the spot dot right in the center. Okay, so now, by now, you should have it should look the same as it did before, just you know, smaller. So you've got these like triangles pointing up, and now on this side, when you flip it over, you've got four squares that are really like these little pockets, which are going to come in useful. But before we get to them, uh, we just want to make this paper a little bendier. So with your triangle points facing up, you are going to. Um, make a make this line a little bit bolder for us to see all right see that line right here yes so we're going to fold on that line this would be very easy because this is how the paper wants to fold because of all of the previous folds and then 
we're just going to do the exact same thing in the other direction. So what you want is to get these corners together like this. All right. So we have our center line right there and we folded it like that and we puff this really, really tightly with our corners together. And you can do this a couple of times and kind of, because you, what you want is for this paper to be bendier because we're gonna, because they're much more fun when they are. Um, you're gonna see in just a second, this is the magic part. All right, so we've got this, our triangle points facing up, right? Okay, so go ahead and fold that in half, whichever way, doesn't matter. Um, on one of those folds that we were just working on, you do it either way. So now it should look like this. So you've got your flap squares on the outside. Like that, right? Those were our pointy triangles on the inside. So you're gonna take your thumb and your pointy on one hand, and you're gonna put them in the top part. Should use your hands. Uh, put them in the top part, pinching them together like this. And you wanna push your thumb and your finger all the way up to the point. Let's see. And then you're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side, these right here. So thumb and forefinger, you can put those right there. Push them all the way up to the top and really spread out those flaps. And you'll see that they've got the nice little bends on them. They want to do this because we fold the paper so that they want to do this. We got this. You fold it so much you just pinch it together. And this is a fortune teller. So now you can decorate. So I did one. Um, it's very silly, I know. Um, it's very, very silly. So I did, these are my flaps right here, right? Um, so I did red and purple. You do whatever you want. I just wanted them to be um, bright colors. I didn't want to spend too much time coloring on this part. And then, so that when you fold it together, you put it back together. Looks like this. Mm -hmm. So now on the inside, remember we've got these little triangle points that fold up. So I put numbers on them. So I did one and 10, three, seven. You can do whatever numbers you want. Um, just for fun, I put 50. Nobody wants to get 50. It'd take you forever. But sometimes that's fun too. Uh, whatever numbers you want. And then on the inside, you get to do the fortunes. So I made these very, very simplistic. Um, you can write them out. You don't have to draw pictures, but I just thought the pictures would be more fun and more open to interpretation. So like maybe this means you're getting a new bicycle or uh, ice cream for dinner, uh, flowers for mom, swimming in a really badly drawn pool. I'm sorry about that one. That one is not as good. Singing, pizza, money, kitty cat. All right, so this is how it works. This is how you can play with your friends and family. So, all right, remember I folded all of these like this. So you fold those in and then you fold it in half and you put your fingers, pinch them in the points and then on the other side and then you push them together so that they meet like that. So now what you do is say, pick a color. You go red. So you go R, E, D. Pick a number. Oh, I'm so glad that 50 isn't optional. So I'm going to say three, one, two, three. So now pick another number. Oh, there's that 50. Well, now I'll pick it because I don't have to, I don't have to count to 50 like a hundred times. Oh, 50 is ice cream. Yay! So I'm going to say that means that I get ice cream for dinner. You can make these whatever you want. This is just an idea. Uh, there's a million different possibilities. So if we go back to this one that we just made right here, um, it doesn't have to be fortunes at all. You can do, let me see if I can do this with a pencil. 
So I'm not a great drawer, guys. I'm sorry. Um, my artistic abilities are much more um, I'm a better actor and singer and dancer than I am at drawing. But who cares? This is for fun. Um, oh my gosh, this is so goofy looking, you guys. Um, I wish that I had taken a marker. This would have been so much easier. Okay, this is what I drew. I know, it's bad. Um, it kind of looks like frog eyes with like, I don't know. I wanted that to be a mouth, but maybe it's like an anteater. I don't know, right? But he can talk just like me. It's kind of freaking me out. I don't like it. <laughs> I'm glad I did this in pencil because now I can erase it and try it again. <laughs> um, Anyways, I hope this was fun for you. This was fun for me. I love making these, you know that. Um, and I'm going to think of some other stuff for us to do um, online. Hope you guys are having fun and being safe. Um, miss you so much. And we'll talk soon. Bye.